हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट स्टार्ट दी वीडियो दिस इथेनॉल और इथाइल अल्कोहल इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड जनरली इट इज समाइम ऑल्सो रेफर्ड एज स्पिरिट स्पिरिट ऑफ वाइन ग्रेन एल्कोहल और एब्सुल्यूट एल्कोहल Its chemical formula is C2H5OH and has a molecular mass of 46.07 gram per mole. It's generally it's a colorless liquid with a characteristic odor, and it is a psychoactive substance and main component of the alcoholic beverages like wine, beer, etc. It is also used as a solvent in lab and many industrial purposes. Now let's discuss the production process of this ethanol. So generally, this ethanol it is produced by or you can say made by the fermentation of sugar using the microorganisms. Means microorganism they have capability of fermenting or you can say converting the sugar into energy compounds, and this ethanol is produced as a byproduct of this fermentation. And nowadays, ethanol is generally produced by using sugar beet, potatoes. cassava sugar cane etc and fermentation you can say it's a biochemical process which is generally carried out by bacteria yeast and other micro organism which ultimately convert sugar which may be glucose or fructose into cellular energy products and also ethanol as well as carbon dioxide as the by products the production of ethanol generally involves three steps first is the preparation of medium second fermentation process and third is a recovery of ethanol so let's discuss them first is the preparation of medium is in this step we just prepare the media for the fermentation and for the fermentation we have to provide substrate so that the microorganism can use that substrate and carry out the fermentation so three types of substrates are generally used for ethanol production first that may be the starch containing substrate which contain the starch second the juices from sugar cane and molasses or sugar beet can also be served as a substrate for ethanol production and third one the waste from the wood or you can see the processed wood can also be served as a substrate for the ethanol production but if we want to use yeast strain or you can say if we are going to use yeast then in that case the starch which we using as a substrate so that starch must be hydrolyzed because the yeast it does not have any enzyme that can hydrolyze that starch means yeast does not have amylase enzyme so due to this we have to hydrolyze the starch before fermentation if we want to use yeast as a microorganism for the production of ethanol and after hydrolysis then it is suppl supplemented with the cellulose of microbial origin so at to obtain the reducing sugar so in this step we just prepare the media for the fermentation second step is the fermentation itself so in this step we just provide the raw material to the microorganism so that it can carry out the fermentation or conversion of the substrate into ethanol so generally starch containing substrate that are first crushed and heated in the warm water to extract their starch content then this material is transferred into the fermentation tank or you can say ferment fermenter or a reactor where it is mixed with microorganism which may be yeast or any other bacteria which can produce the ethanol so these microorganism they ultimately carry out the fermentation the following condition should be followed during the fermentation that first the microorganism you can either use saccharomyces cerevisiae which is a yeast or you can also use a bacterial species that is zygomonas mobilis for the production of ethanol generally the ph of the medium should be 5 the temperature throughout the fermentation should be 35 degree centigrade and this fermentation or you can say the alcoholic or the fermentation which is required for the ethanol production is a an aerobic process means it's occur in the absence of oxygen there should not be any oxygen if you are going for the ethanol production and final or you can say last step is the recovery of ethanol once the ethanol has been produced during the fermentation step the next step will be its recovery or you can say the isolation or purification of this ethanol so ethanol is generally recovered by distillation technique 
distillation is a process which separate the component on the basis of their boiling points or you can say on the basis of the different boiling points of the compounds under separation so it's just based on the simple principle that we just heat the heat the mixture of liquids so when the liquid attain its boiling point it get evaporated or you can say it is converted into vapors and these vapors they are collected in a another portion which is known as the condenser and when this you can say it is condensed it is again converted into the liquid form so as we know that the liquids they have the different boiling points so they will changed into vapor or you can say they will evaporated at the different temperature or you can say at different time interval when they got the temperature according to their or you can say equal to their boiling points so as the liquids they are evaporated according to time interval so they will also condensed and in that way we can recover our ethanol so this process is known as the distillation sometime many distillation you can say successive distillation are required to get the pure ethanol so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much